Okay, so let's take a look at how we can do question number 10. So we have a culture here that doubles every hour, and we're told that if there are 15,000 <clears throat> bacteria now, we want to know how many there were six hours ago. So <clears throat> what we first need to do here is set up a, a little chart to kind of understand what's going on here. So um, let's do a little table. If we have one bacteria at time equals zero, okay, then it says here that it doubles every hour. So if we go to the next hour, so that's hour one, that means we're going to double one, which is going to give us a two. And if we went to hour number two, we would double the two and we would get a four. Okay, so what we have to do is figure out the pattern that we see here that's working for this. So this is an actually an exponential pattern, okay, and, it's, and it can be described as two to the nth power. So where n is equal to our time factor. So just make the t here and n instead. Okay, so when n is equal to 0, 2 to the 0 is 1. When n is equal to 1, 2 to the 1 is 2. And when n is equal to 2, 2 squared is 4. Okay, so that is going to be the general formula for doubling. And what it says here is if there are 15,000 bacteria, so our equation is going to be 2 to the n is equal to 15,000. And then it said, how many bacteria were there six hours ago? <clears throat> so if n is our time value, our arbitrary time value, we could say 2 to the n minus 6 is going to be equal to the number of bacteria that was six hours ago. So we'll just give this another letter. I'll just give this the letter A. So what we want to find out here is, um, what is this value of n that gives us 2 to whatever power is equal to 15,000? Now, <clears throat> there is a way to do this exactly um, without doing some trial and error, which is kind of the way that we're going to have to solve it. Um, but it involves the use of um, a function called a logarithm, which is a little bit outside the, the uh, scope of this course. So what we're going to do is we'll do some trial and error here. So how can we figure out what number 2 to what power would give us something close to 15,000? Okay, so that means we would try numbers like 2 to the... 2 squared, which we know is 4, 2 cubed, which we know is 8, 2 to the 4, which we know is 16, okay, and so on and so on and so on. We're going to keep going up until we, we get to a certain number. So if we go high enough, okay, we'll, we, you'll actually find that 2 to the 13th power is equal to 8,192, and 2 to the 14th power, just one number above it, is equal to 16,384. So that means the number for n is going to lie in between 13 and 14. So we want to get as close as possible um, to this. So what you, you can, you're going to have to use your calculator and you're just going to have to work out using the exponent key on your calculator. Okay, so that's the way that I would look at this here. You can use your exponent key, which is the, two, which is the um, it's, it's a number to the nth power. It's usually like x to the y. Okay, and then what we're going to do is keep breaking this down. So we can start by going 2 to the 13.1, okay, 2 to the 13.2, and 2 to the 13.3, and so on, and keep going until we get numbers that are very, very close to 15,000. Okay, and then we might even have to go a little bit further. Um, once we find the number, we instead of 13.1, we can go like 13.11, 13.2, 13.3. Okay, so if you keep going and doing this, this trial and error, you'll find that as soon as you get to around 13.8, you're going to get very, very close. Okay, and if you want to work it a little bit closer, you'll find that 2 to the 13.87, okay, is approximately equal to 15,000. So that's going to be our missing exponent. Okay, so that means with our, um, our value of n, Okay, we can say n is equal to 13.87. Okay, and then we're going to plug that into our second equation here, which is 2 to the n minus 6. So it's 13.87 minus 6 is equal to the value of a. Okay, so a is going to be the number of bacteria that was occurred 6 hours ago. So again, you're going to have to use your calculator, and you're going to go 2 to the power of 13.87 minus 6. Okay, so 13 minus 6 is like 7, 7.87. 
okay, and then raise that to the power, and you'll round this up to the nearest bacteria. You'll find that the answer comes out to about 233 or 234, which is what they give you in the key. Okay, so anything close to that would be an acceptable answer. All right, so this is how you do this question. It's a little bit tricky because we can't do it exactly because we don't know the function of how to solve for n in an exponential equation yet, um, but you can kind of approximate it by just doing some trial and error and figuring out how close this number um, is.